Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to my additional Max channel. So today I would like to discuss a few questions on differentiation involving a uh, quotient rule, right? So you have uh, just learned what is quotient rule, and I'm sure you know how to do right. It's just that some of you um. When you have the quotient, you will do uh, dy dx equal to um, v first, then du dx, right? You multiply minus u, then dv dx, okay, over v square. So this is the formula. Sometimes we will write like this when. Uh, it involves the okay the first derivative we will write u, v then u prime minus u the prime means uh, first derivative like this okay so this is actually involving a uh, differentiation for quotient or fraction Okay, so let's see how to do for f. Okay, majority of you actually know how to do. I'm um, sure. So for f, uh, many of you actually you got problem with the simplification, right? So for you differentiation, I'm sure you got no problem. So let's say you have f, which is x over square root. Um, x minus 1 right so okay so let's label this is your u this is your v so let's do it now u is x and then the v is square root when you see square root we always come to power so that we can differentiate uh, with the power rule so du dx is 1 and dv dx is 1 over 2 times x minus 1 1 over 2 minus 1 is negative 1 over 2 and don't forget differentiate in the bracket so you will cross multiply like this and you will follow the formula right so dy dx is v which is uh, x minus 1 power half right Okay, u times the 1. Okay, there is a negative, right? Be careful. Okay, uh, when you when you minus, you must be very careful. Okay, here, minus. And then v dv dx, and then u. Okay, normally when we see this, we will actually convert to the third you know third like this so uh, we will multiply with 1 over 2 third x minus 1 like this okay then over don't forget you have to over the v square v is x minus 1 uh, with the square root so when you square the square root will cancel out right so we can say that the can we can cancel out the square root like this. So now we try to use the third for square root minus x over two third x minus one over okay over the x minus one. Okay. So then we will have the square root. Uh, x minus 1 we must make sure that the denominator the same to in order to simplify so this one we will write like this okay so it become a fraction so we must uh, make sure we make the denominator the same before we can simplify right so when you see when you see the line like this very long line you convert to dy but make sure you put bracket for this is the it's going to divide by x minus one right okay because the square root the square root um 
when you square the square root, the square root actually will be cancelled out, right? Okay, any question? I think you shouldn't have problem. Okay, so now I'm going to simplify further. Okay, so let's see how to simplify further. Okay. So now uh, let's put over one here because we are dividing the x minus one. So now I need to make sure the denominator the same. This is the denominator, so I have to times two square root x minus one, and then here two square root x minus one. All right, up and down, so it become a uh, two x minus one minus x over. We can join because the denominator the same. You understand? Okay, so the denominator is two square root x minus one. Now we will simplify this one after this. We make it multiply one over, right? Okay, so let's do it carefully. Now we have the two x minus two minus x over the two square root x minus one times with the x minus one. Okay, now can be simplify further 2x minus x is x minus 2 and then we have the 2 uh, x minus 1 is a base 1 over 2 and this is x minus 1 with a power 1 right okay so we can simplify further to the very very simplest form which is x minus 2 over now you see this one this is a okay let me explain to you this is just like okay this is same base right same base right can you see the base are the same it's just like a1 over 2 times a1 so you write a3 over 2 right right but the a here is x minus 1 got it so you write x minus 1 of course of course the 2 is still there okay here will be 3 over 2 3 over 2 you can write like this so normally we will write the answer like this 2 uh, we, you can actually uh, write like this with the power 1 over 2 and the power 1 over 2 is actually the the square root so finally the answer looks like this 2 square root the whole thing x minus 1 to the power of 3 okay so this is the best answer ever for this question x minus 2 divided by 2 square root x minus 1 to the power of 3 okay this is the answer for f understand i really hope that my sharing do help you to recall back the concept of cert that you learned uh, last year okay so um for the next question i will discuss in another video okay that's all for this question okay bye bye and have a nice day